reservoir mask. It's a symbol mask with an attached reservoir. Although these two images look similar, figure A shows the partial rebreathing mask, figure B shows the non rebreathing mask. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be discussing the differences between these two masks, its uses, and its applications. So when is it used? It is used to deliver an FiO2 of greater than 60% and it requires the continuous flow of oxygen around 8 to 15 litre to keep this reservoir full. So basically there are two masks, rebreathing and non-rebreathing mask. Partial rebreathing mask. It's a mask with an attached reservoir and there's no valve in between them. This is an oxygen inlet. You should know that a continuous oxygen inflow of more than 8 to up to 15 litre of oxygen is required for this bag to be inflated. Once inflated, the patient is allowed to inspire and during the phase of expiration, the initial one third of expired air is comes to this reservoir. This corresponds to the anatomical dead space. As we know, anatomical dead space contains more of oxygen and less of CO2 and the late two-third of the expired air goes through the side ports. Mixing of air occurs in the reservoir bag and it's uh, helpful in situation where oxygen supply is less and conservation of oxygen would be helpful. And it also raises the FiO2 between 60 to 80 percentage. And the expired air contains uh, CO2 and so on rebreathing it can act as a way of uh, stimulating breathing. Non-rebreathing mask. It's similar to an RBM mask itself with the only exception of one-way valve which is present at the exit of the reservoir as well as in the side ports. The mechanism is during the high flow of oxygen of up to 8 to 15 liter, this bag gets inflated. Once inflated during the phase of inspiration, the patient is allowed to inspire and during the phase of expire, uh, expiration, the expired air is being prevented to back into this reservoir due to this one way valve as well as the rest of the expired air goes through the side ports. And this uh, advantage of the one way valve in this side port is that it prevents the re-entry of the expired air during the phase of inhalation. And as a result, it enables delivery of 100% of oxygen. FiO2 is increased up to 90%. This is an ideal mask which can be used as a temporary measure in acutely hypoxemic patients. The disadvantage of this mask is that it provides a lower FiO2 in patients who is tachypneic or showing respiratory distress. And also this mask is tightly sealed on face to prevent the leakage of air. And uh, there is a risk of CO2 retention if the mask or the flow isn't working and uh, the amount of oxygen, it cannot be titrated to the target oxygen saturation. And so theoretically you can expose the patients to hyperoxia. So where do you use this mask? It's used in CO poisoning, smoke inhalation, chronic air, airway limitations, cluster headaches, patients who require high concentration of oxygen, uh, but who do not require any other further assistance or PEEP and those patients who are claustrophobic. Thank you.